Hey guys, we made a video recently showing you an old 1000 yen note that we'd stumbled across and mentioned on that very brief, briefly that the person on that note was Natsume Soseki who might have mentioned on that video he's a, a famous Japanese writer. So that triggered this video because one of his most famous books he wrote in 1905-1906 and it, in English they call it um, I, am, I Am a Cat. Okay, and the first line of the book is something like, I am a cat, as yet I have no name, something like that. And obviously this is the English translation. Um, an excellent book for people who are interested in Japan, Japanese culture. Um, it's an excellent book. It um, talks about, through the eyes of the cat, so uh, the idea is that the, the cat is owned by a school teacher who has different uh, relationships with different people like an academic and, a, and, and all sorts of different people and just is living his life, right? And the whole story is from the point of view of, of the cat. Um, and it's brilliant, it's really good. It's, it's uh, obviously set during the Meiji period and it's sort of, on a deeper level, it's sort of the, looking at the Japanese culture and Western culture and the interaction between the both and. And, and the collision between the both, or the the, the the influences between both, and so so it's very interesting from that point of view. If you're interested in Japanese culture, um, and and or the influence that Western cultures had on Japanese culture, because keep in mind, 19, 1905, 1906, Japan had only been open to the West for 35 years. So after being closed to the, to, to the outside world for 300 years, um, Japan had only been open for 35 years. So it's a very interesting perspective written by a person who was there during this period of change. So on, that, on, a, on a deeper level, that's the sort of stuff there is in there. On, on a more superficial level, it's just a, an interesting read. They actually uh, usually get uh, high school kids to read it. It's usually one of the, one of the books that high school kids read here. Um, because it's considered to be a classic. Uh, there's other interesting things about it too. The way it was written was written in a very aristocratic way, even though Soseki himself was an aristocrat and the characters in it, obviously it's a cat, right? Um, but the style of writing was very old, uh, sort of aristocratic or upper class sort of style way of communicating and talking. So from that point of view, it's pretty interesting as well. Um, and then just the simple things. I mean, the things, I haven't actually read it for a long time. I lent it to someone a long, long time ago and just went looking for it this, this week to try and find it before making this video and couldn't find it. So I suspect I lent it to someone a long, long time ago. I never got it back. So I haven't read it for a long time, but I remember when I was reading it, the things that, funny little things, like for example, you know, he greets his guest and takes him into the tatami room and they sit in front of the tokonoma and, and the cultural thing about the important person uh, should sit with their back to the tokonoma and, and, and little things like that. And this is all through the observations of the cat, right? But this is the, 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 the teacher, you know, the cat's owner uh, and his interactions with these other people. Um, and just little things like as, as he's describing the house, Anybody who's uh, been to Japan or anybody who's even seen any of our videos of the old farmhouse can picture the rooms that they're talking about because that classic style of Japanese house, you know, he talks about lying on the veranda of the house and he talks about, you know, the, the tatami room with the tokonoma and he talks about all these things, which we've showed you in our videos of the old Japanese farmhouse. So when you're reading the book, you can imagine these scenes in these different rooms, you know. Um, at one stage, he follows the owner to the onsen. They go to the onsen and they're having conversations, uh, the owner's having conversations with other people in the onsen and, and, the, and the, the, the sort of the relevance of the conversations in the, in the onsen, because a lot of, you know, as we've talked about before, the onsen sort of can be a very important place for people communicating about all sorts of important things, you know. So it's just, it's a fascinating, fascinating book. So you can read it on different levels. You can just read it straight out from simple parts of Japanese culture and from simple things, the, the physical things like going to the onsen and the, and, the, and the layout of his house and his garden and all sorts of things like that. And simple, you know, it's that, you can read it on a simple level like that and it can just be a light read. 
Um, or if you, it, you'll recognize deeper things about the cultural differences and about cultural things like that. So, yeah, definitely a good read. Anybody who's interested in Japanese culture or Japan or Japanese life or anything else, uh, or cats, because <laughs> anyone who likes cats is going to like it too, because it's got that the way of looking at things through a, the arrogant, arrogant perspective of a cat, you know. Um, but it's great. It's an excellent book. So, um, the, it's been translated into English um, for, for many years. Not, not long after it was originally written, it was translated into English. And there's many English versions. The one I read was really a really good one. So what I've done is I've put um, that version on my Amazon influencer page. We have a Amazon page. So I'll put it on there and I'll put a link underneath this video so you can you can check it out, you know, and get the either the actual book itself or get it the online version, read it, read the the, the ebook, you know. But um, yeah, excellent, excellent read, excellent read. You're sure to get something out of it, um, you know, if you're interested in Japan. Any lots of stuff you'll recognise too. If you've been to Japan, there'll be lots of stuff you recognise. And if you haven't, just from watching our videos, you'll recognise things like, oh yeah, either things that we physically showed you or things that we talked about. So yeah, fascinating, amazing. It came to me after I, after I made that video about the, the thousand year note. Amazing we haven't talked about this before because it's a classic. It's an absolute classic. So anyway, have a look at it. There's a link underneath this video. I am a cat. As yet, I have no name. More videos coming soon.